All right, so the packaging itself looks very nice. Ooh, magnet closing. Ooh. All right, so here we can see we're having six type of games: action, shooting, racing, fighting, sport, and puzzle. Here we have the system itself. It looks a little bit like a Game Boy ripoff. All right, so let's open it up and let's see what we're going to get. Is there a manual? Yes, there is a manual. Let's take a close look at the manual. Okay, let's see what they have to say over here. Oh, it's basically the same over and over, only different languages. Hey, it's even in my Dutch language. There's a handheld. No, we're not, no. <laughs> we're not going to do that. But nevertheless, as you can see, some basic explanation how it works. I'm going to figure it out myself. Plastic. Here we have the system itself. I must say the design itself is pretty funny. It even has this little, yeah, I would not say slot, but more than giving, yeah, a little bit strange. All right, so we're having the on and off switch over here and D-pad feels quite, oh, feels not bad at all for a cheap device. Here we have the volume control. There's no scrolling wheel, just a button we need to press. We have A, B, there's no tower buttons, a little bit of a bummer. Reset, start, there's no select. And here we have the battery compartment and the little speaker. So there's nothing much to it. No AV out. So let's boot it up. Ooh, that sounds exciting, but the Supreme 200. All right, so let's press the button. I'm guessing every time I reset it goes back to the main menu. No, 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 it skips the intro. Or yeah, it goes to the main menu, but it skips the intro. Action, racing, sport, shooting, fighting, and puzzle. So let's go to the action. Not the action store, but action. So what you can see over here, you can see because I need to zoom in. Yes, all right. Magic Johnny. It's full with these weird games. Blockbuster. Hey, what did you play last night? I played a Blockbuster on my wonky toys. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Nevertheless, let's play Blockbuster. And I just want to see what it is. All right. is this oh this is the big duck <laughs> i must say i've seen these games before on different homebrew game systems from china see more playing mortal kombat get over here get over here yep it has the same exactly so the same sounds so funny thing is, I know this is very good programming. When pressing reset once, it goes to the action menu. I'm pressing it again, it goes to the main menu. I'm guessing pressing it again, and it doesn't do anything. But that's pretty cool. All right, so let's play a racing game. Let's see if I can find a familiar game. We're having Racing Fighter. Yep. And all these games are on the, let's say, mini arcades and all those weird stuff. Whoa, did you see the glitching? Wow, that's pretty bad. All right, do we have the UFO game? Hong Kong, Police vs. Thief. Yep, we have the UFO racing game. Yep, yep. And the UFO making an engine noise. A bit off. It's floating, but it's making more like the squeaky rubbery tires. <laughs> Makes sense. So this device is filled up with games like this. All right, let's go back to the sports. What kind of sport game did they add to this thing? Let's just. Or oh, you just need to press the A or B. Oh, I have a couple of. More like a rhythm game. Wow, what is pretty. I must say it's pretty challenging. <laughs> it is, it is indeed. All right, so let's go to tennis. Let's tennis. All right, so what do I think of this thing? Okay, the volume. Or a couple of levels that you can just do. But it sounds quite nice. So put a cheap device or this budget handheld. The volume, it's okay. I really prefer in scrolling wheel, by the way. The display itself, as you can see here on the video, it looks very nice. The view angle is 
Let's say it's good for a budget device. If you look at similar products I have reviewed, for example, with the Retro FC 168 in one from China. But this is just what you're going to get with these cheap, let's say, portable devices you can find in your local stores. Supreme 200, <laughs> Supreme 200 shitty games. They are rip off, they are basic games, but I think a real gamer won't, uh, won't have this, this positive experience. I don't like it, and not because they are not using the official games or they're being naughty. At the end, this is what you're going to get. No battery inside, just these batteries you need to freaking replace every single time. The wonky toys, I like the design, I like what they're doing over here, but the games, no. Let's make, let's say, a Game Boy Play where you can stick in real actual cards. That would be cool. This is what you're going to get. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to it and hit the little bell. And give this video a like you up. That would be great. And I will see you in my next video if you want to become one of the Wicked family.